fair warning, doing personal branding may result in an identity crisis. What is up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. My name is Isotu, aka The Freedom Creator. And today we're going to talk about how I branded my YouTube channel, the current branding, why I designed it that way, what made me do it, um, the certain style that I made it in. And I'm also going to be going through the different iterations of this logo that I have had over time. Uh, just to be real, because every time I do branding, personal branding for myself in particular, um, it kind of results in an identity crisis because you really got to ask yourself, like, who am I? So fair warning, if you are about to embark on a branding, personal branding journey for yourself, put on your seatbelt and buckle up and really ask yourself some questions. So let's get started. So the first thing that you have to think of when branding yourself for YouTube um, is kind of what name do you want to go by? Do you want to go by your real name or do you want to go by a different name? There's kind of pros and cons to each. So my real name is Isotu, which most people have trouble pronouncing in the United States, even though it's three syllables that are all in the English language. They still find trouble pronouncing it. And it is also a little bit difficult for people to spell just because it's the French spelling. So even though I really love my name and enjoy my name and like when people call me by my full name, when it came to branding my channel, I decided to go with a different name uh, just to make it easier for people to search. Also, I think that when you have a name um, that has to do with what it is that your channel is about or kind of gives off a certain vibe, then people are more likely to click it, whether it's your Instagram name or whether it's your YouTube name. So for example, if I leave a comment on another channel and I sign it as Isotu, that doesn't like give people any extra motivation to click on my name to see my channel, to see my profile, to see what I'm all about. Versus if I have the Freedom Creator, people might think to themselves, a Freedom Creator, hmm, I like freedom. I like to create it. I want to create my own freedom. Let me click it to see if this profile is something that I'm interested in. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to go with the Freedom Creator name. Also with that, um, I wanted there to be a little bit of distance between me as a person, as a two, and me as a brand, the Freedom Creator. Um, just because for me, psychologically, it allows me to kind of like take criticism or make certain changes about my brand and not think that I have to like change me as a person or do something to me as a person. And then also just with that, because we live in the internet age, I feel like a lot of people, um, if they know your name and they see you a lot on YouTube or on Instagram, they often will assume that they really, really know you that because they saw you uh, for 10 minutes today, every week, they see a video of you, they might think, oh, I really know that person, that I really want there to be a separation between like who I am as a brand and who I am as a person because it just allows me to still have freedom in my life to be who I want to be. So that's something to consider uh, if you are on your own personal branding journey. So to get to my logos, <laughs> let's get started. So the first logo that I ever came up with, I'll put it somewhere on the screen. Um, the first logo that I came up with was very bright, very bubbly. Um, I had just started using Photoshop. This was probably um, about a year ago. I had just started using Photoshop. I was really excited. Um, I didn't have to pay for it because I was using my little sister's student discount and my mom was paying for it. <laughs> so I was like, hey, I got Photoshop for free, what can I do? So I knew I really liked warm colors. I wanted something that felt like fun and vibrant because I didn't really have a fully developed brand identity at that time. I was just like, let me make something fun. So that's kind of what came out of it. To me, at this moment, I really hate the font. I think it's too bubbly, too like 
just not refined enough and shoot to like fun like kid show type of thing and the colors the two colors are too vibrant too clashing like the blue and that orange reddish it's just a lot of color going on um and that was actually one of the first issues that i had when it came to design is that i really like colors i really like things to feel warm happy vibrant um but if you make a design where everything is so while the colors are so vibrant it loses it it kind of just looks like a mush so that's something that i picked up along the way is that like if you're gonna have vibrant colors you have to have it with muted colors as well or else it's just a hot mess uh so here also i'll show you guys what it looked like on an affirmations book that i had um i really <laughs> loved this design when i first did it but now it is really ugly <laughs> so on to the next iteration so this version this next version of the freedom creator logo came because i wanted something that was refined i at the time was uh, i had created an online course that was about creating an online course and trying to get people to come in and i was like okay this course is a little bit more expensive than uh the typical thing i might be selling so i want this to look refined and you'll notice a lot of times with refined logos like if you think of luxury brands like Prada, Versace, whatever, Louis Vuitton. Um, I always think of clothing brands just because I literally used to, like, in my free time, read uh, luxury brand. They read about luxury branding. A little fun fact about me. Uh, so, back to the logos. You'll notice that they really use the most basic of all basic fonts. Like, there's nothing particularly characteristic about the fonts that they use it's easy to read it's just it's honestly just very basic but because so many of these uh luxury brands use that type of font most of us have come to associate that basicness with luxury so that's why i was like okay this font is basic but it's not all the way basic you know it's got a little flair like look at the way the letters curve a little bit I am not a professional, I didn't go to school for this, so I don't know the right terms for everything. Um, so I'm just giving, describing it to, to you how I literally think of it in my head. I'm like, it's basic, but it's not too basic. It's got like a tiny bit of flair, but it looks expensive at the same time. And then the colors I chose, I chose a green in particular because to me, the green is like money. Um, I wanted people to associate this logo with sophistication with being able to um, like bring in and attract money and also knowing that it's something of high value knowing that it's something that they should spend their money on so that's why I came with this logo I also made a beautiful website that I wish I had screenshots of but I don't but this was actually one of the like proudest things that I had made at the time because I felt like I um, I kind of reached a new step in my design journey. So I still like this logo actually. It's just, it doesn't really fit with my personality. It's a little too polished and it isn't, doesn't kind of give me the flexibility to express myself as fully as I'd like to. So now we are going to the logo that I had created for the channel now. I freaking love this logo so much. Um, okay, to get started, when I was thinking of this logo, I wanted something that had some fun to it, some creativity, especially because the name is Freedom Creator. So I'm like, okay, freedom. If I'm really free, like I'll think a little out of the box. I'll do things my own way. I want this to look distinctive. Um, especially I'm thinking later down along the road, like, okay, if I have merchandise, I want the freedom to be written in a font that I could have this on a t-shirt, I could have this on a hat, and people will see it and recognize it and know who, know what brand this is associated with. So that's also why I wanted the freedom to be a little bit distinct, and I wanted it to also be out of the box just to kind of go along with the freedom word, because if it's too, um, 
like my last look if it's too perfect that doesn't really say freedom to me that says like fake freedom that says like I'm a little free but I still like adhere to a lot of rules so I wanted something that really said freedom and then with the creator font um I, th I was like Whew, let me go with it let me have two different fonts um so the creator font that is something that kind of looks like the font that I had on my last logo. Um, and I really liked it just because it's easy to read a, because the freedom is a little, um, just a little bit difficult to read it. So it's not just plain font, simple font. Um, it's kind of stylized or very stylized. Um, but I want the creator to kind of be something more sophisticated and something that also said money. Um, so that is why I chose that font because to me that font says like, yeah, like the freedom is like, woo, freedom there, but then the creator says, but like, I'm sophisticated, I know how to sell things, I know how to uh, bring it all together. So also in terms of this logo, I'm thinking of, okay, again, I want people to see the freedom and associate it with my brand and Freedom Creator. While I like the whole name, I really am focusing on the word freedom just because to me that's such a powerful word and that's something that uh, I want to give myself within my own brand, uh, like the freedom to change, the freedom to move. And it's also technically just a white logo um, because I am a little <laughs> indecisive when it comes to colors especially when it comes to branding and knowing what colors um, I want to put in something, what colors, like basically I have trouble sticking to a color palette just because if my mood changes one day, then I don't want to have to be stuck with a color choice that I made five years ago. So I wanted the logo to be white just so that I can have it on a bunch of different backgrounds. And so that's why I have it. As you can see right now, it's on this gradient background. Um, I'm really in love with gradients right now. I really also love warm tones. That's something that just through creating a lot, I've realized consistently I love warm tones and I love gradients. And it stands the test of time for me in terms of like, if I made it three months ago and I see it now, I still like it, which does happen with a lot of things. So. That is also why I've sold on the gradient right now. And yeah, essentially, that's why how I got to this current logo. Um, I'm also going to be creating a end screen for my YouTube, an intro for my YouTube. So if you have any interest in that, those videos will be coming as well. And I'm trying to think what else. Let me see. And that's essentially it. On this channel, I'm going to be talking a lot about creativity, um, especially as someone who did not grow up thinking that they were creative. I did not go to school for any arts. In fact, I took two art classes my senior year of college, um, finally, and that was kind of like an aha moment for me and made me realize, wow, I did college wrong. Um, and I'm also going to be talking about cash flow, about money, about how to fix your relationship with money because a lot of us don't even realize that the way we interact with money is based on a relationship that we have with it, messages that we've learned about money um, from our parents, from society. So if you have any interest in that, any interest in that, if you are about creativity and cash flow, then Stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you.